Rockville Pits is where we've been uh, getting our uh, materials, building and construction uh, materials uh, uh, over the years for road construction, water, or, or what can I say, just say infrastructural uh, 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 development. Uh, part of our rehabilitation is to fill up uh, uh, the pits that are, are, are very, very deep and also we intend to allow water to flow, not water uh, to collect. So we are using overpatent material uh, that was removed when, when, we, when we were um, excavating or, or, or borrowing our, our material. As a province, we have challenges where we are saying we have a problem of illegal sand abstraction and illegal mining. And the impacts, I think you are seeing them. But we are saying, yes, we have the problems. What are we doing? This is what the city is doing in terms of uh, ecosystems restoration. That's why we have brought you here. And we encourage uh, all the players, all institutions, all residents to focus on ecosystems restorations. On environmental protection, we are actually looking at the, the environment, the entire environment in the city where we are supposed to protect it from uh, uh, degradation and uh, wood fortune. So uh, currently we have actually two legal pit sand sites, legal pit sand sites where people can actually collect pit sand for construction. We want to make sure that we actually have one pit for the gravel where people can go and collect that gravel. After we had actually decommissioned the, the pits, we are going to actually plant trees on those areas. If you can check, uh, we don't have like anything that goes beyond uh, uh, 0, 0.75. So I feel uh, they're now safe enough. We don't expect uh, any hold up of water, uh, even after, after the rains. And my biggest fear is, uh, you know, this area is, is, is gravelly and like, my biggest fear is poaching again. So I think in terms of enforcement, we have to move uh, a step higher. To completely restore the area, we need vegetation. And they have highlighted the plants that is either they talk to the communities, but what we want is ecosystem restoration and we are very happy. We are on, on track. So we are encouraging all communities, all residents in Bulawayo, where you see the need to restore the, the area, let's do it. Let's not just also wait for the city council. It's our area, it's our place. Let's all come together and restore the degraded areas.